All right, here we are in Bakersfield, California, the home of this drag car and its uh, trailer. This is a piece of drag racing history, top fuel, the Ridge Root Terrors, Bakersfield. We're gonna let the owner tell you about some of the items and tell you about the cars. We're just gonna walk around and kind of point out things and let him tell us about it. And let's walk up by the car, Frank. Tell us about the dragster. Well, this is one of the, this is the first dragster to run uh, six consecutive times in the fives. Uh, it was built by Roger Coburn. Um, and it won the uh, Bakersfield Fuel and Gas Championships three years in a row. The only car ever to do that. It won the uh, Gator Nationals, uh, beat Don Garlitz several times, Shirley Modowney several times. And uh, it's just a, you know, just a precious piece of machinery, in my opinion. And did you restore it, or? Yes, I, I bought the car. Uh, it was in the Mr. Ed trailer. Uh, it was all apart. There was part, uh, most of the body's original. I had to replace three or four things and obviously repainted it. The motor was all there. The Danicus blower was missing, and I found a Danicus blower. Uh, we've started and run the car several times. It runs fine. And the starter that's sitting on the floor here is included with the car, right? Yes. Yeah, which is a, it's a, you know, it's a side mount starter, so it's a, you know, it's a bit, bit odd, but it starts the car fine. And uh, the... Uh, now, I noticed in a couple of the photos, you're going to see more photos, folks, at spudsgarage.com. We're going to scan a bunch of items and you'll see some historic photos and items that will be included with the car. Uh, I noticed on the front it, it had some wheel fairings at one time. Maybe you can tell us the story about those. Yeah, when I restored the car, uh, I restored it with the help of uh, both James and Roger. And I asked them, I said, would you rather have the car restored with the wheel fairings or not? And they were very emphatic that they did not want the wheel fairings on there. James told me that he thought those wheel fairings about killed him a couple times, so. Crosswind at the track? Yeah, crosswinds or whatever, but I mean, he, he, did, uh, he did not like those wheel fairings, and they took them off uh, pretty quickly, I think, during, you know, when they were racing the car. Yeah. Um, they want to walk around it here a little bit so people get a kind of a feel as we're talking around the videos. Um, it raced in the top fuel class. Yes. Uh, Rain for Rent was the sponsor of the of the yes. dragster. Mm -hmm. And what about the Ridge Root Runners or Terrors? Excuse Ridge me. Ridge Root Terrors. Uh, that was that was their their nickname, and uh, they were uh, the reason they called them Ridge Route Terrors is obviously driving over the ridge to the drag strips in the uh, Southern California Lions drag strip <laughs> and uh, and out in Orange County Raceway. Now it's circa seventy five through 78 and it won three years at Bakersfield top three, fuel champion three three years in a row three yeah, years in a row hard to ever do that original driver was James Warren and again we said uh, it uh, when's have you run the car yourself no. no no it's it's more of a showpiece and yeah we, we restored the car in fact when uh, we got the car it had an extra uh, part of a roll bar on it we took and put it back to the way the car was originally Warren Coburn, uh, these, uh, when you re-decaled it or, or painted it, these are uh, authentic, obviously. Yeah, actually the, gra the, the graphics uh, were uh, painted by Youngblood. Uh, we took the body panels over to Las Vegas and, and uh, he hand-painted these just like he did originally. Okay, mm -hmm. so the same guy that originally had them on there, painted them on the car, redid it. Yeah. Youngblood design right there. Just kind of walk around here. Well, tell me about the engine. Uh, the engine's a 426. It was uh, it was built by uh, Jim Schubert. We have the uh, car now where it runs on alcohol because it uh, only would run on nitro. We have one of the fuel pumps uh, blocked off because we don't need it to you know to run to run that on uh, on alcohol. Okay. Now, he actually has, and you'll see me have this scanned at, at Spud's Garage, he actually has the original roll bar certification from 1977. They took it off the car when they restored the car, and it is included. We have a file we're going to document for you.
just kind of walk around here and kind of give you a good feel here. The owner's been kind enough to share the car. It's just time for it to go and it'd be nice to go to somebody else's collection. It is extremely rare to find a drag car, a piece of history like this available. And we are uh, honored to bring it to you. We're probably gonna take a little break here and then we're gonna flip over to the trailer. Um, and you're, again, you're gonna find plenty of photos. I have a lot of scans to do. There will be a lot of items included in the car. It is authentic, it is real. And All right, thanks we're for gonna this. get going here with the trailer part of it. It is an original Mr. Ed trailer. They are extremely rare to find. Um, the owner is going to tell us about it, maybe some of its history. It is included with the dragster that we just viewed. And uh, tell us about it. Well, the, um, the car was actually in the trailer uh, when I bought it. It took me about nine years to buy the car. And uh, when we hauled the car out of the trailer, we killed probably over 60 Black Widow spiders that were in that long. <laughs> And w what they had done is we, we, we actually stripped probably five layers of paint. It was, the trailer was painted white when I got it. And uh, Roger, when he went from a front engine car to a rear engine car, actually stretched the Mr. Ed trailer in the middle five feet to get the rear engine car to fit. And uh, we took the body completely off. Uh, yeah, I was looking underneath. We'll have photos at Spud's garage, but uh, we'll kind of give you a peek. He actually did a very thorough restoration on this trailer. And the paint finish matches the car awesome. So when they did the stretch on it for the rear engine dragster, they stretched it right here in the middle, probably where these boxes are roughly? Just in front of the, bo just in front of the uh, box doors, yeah. Okay. And then we put, uh, it's got new electric brakes. We uh, took the original wheels and got those polished. And so those are the original wheels that were the on the trailer? original wheels that were on the trailer when I got the trailer, yeah. I'll be danged. Yeah. Does the helmet go with it? Uh, sure, that's not an original, that's not James's original helmet. We just took it and painted yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it it's a good display yeah. piece. Mm -hmm. And this is obviously painted just like the era. Yes, we got pictures, several pictures of the trailer to, to uh, back that up, and then we all, when we stripped it, uh, we, this is one of this is uh, one of the original paint schemes that they had on the car, and it's the ones that Roger and James like. Now this we can't lower it down, folks, because it's up against the glass here uh, in the collection. It will everything will load together the trailer and the car. Yes, the only thing you have to do is you have to take the wing off okay. the, the car to get it to go in. Then I also have uh, some ti narrow tires that have to go on it to get, to get it in there, and that will be included with it also. Okay. Yeah. All right. So they're going to basically be able to come in, hook up, and tow this in home. All the stainless looks like it was redone, the stainless and the chrome. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. You definitely want to hang on to the end of the video here. We're going to cover a couple items, not much. You're pretty much at the end. We appreciate you coming to take a look. I'll do one more walk around here. Try not to make you too seasick. We will, uh, actually we're going to call this the end of the video because I'm going to cover something since I'm up here anyway. Um, gives you a good idea of the front of it. The trailer is nice on both sides. There's no issues or cosmetic issues. This is a painting that the owner had done of the car, right Frank? Yes. Um, it will be included with the car. Um, what's the gentleman's name? Michael Woodcock. Michael Scott Woodcock, 07. He had it painted for the car. This is an original that was signed, or a photo that was signed by both, uh, uh, both drivers, or both partners. And it is not included, however you can find that at the NHRA Drag Museum, and you can probably find it online. This was a gift to him. It is not included, but it is a copy of a brochure, and we will uh, have one of those brochures for you. There are some items that are included. We'll point those out, and then this photo will be included. Um, the Bakersfield March Fuel Gas Championships 59 to 78. For a quick little ending here, tell me the story behind top fuel in that area, in that era. You were talking about Bakersfield being the only place you could run. and Yeah, for some period of time, the NHRA banned uh, fuel, and uh, Bakersfield March Meet was one of the only places where you could run fuel, and then, of course, uh, they later relented and 
you know, top field is around everywhere now. Cool, cool. Frank, we appreciate you uh, bringing these to us and available to purchase. And uh, go to spudsgarage.com. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube, and uh, you might see it other places. Spuds Garage is everywhere. Thanks for watching.